Hi, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Sikandar from GCS and today we are going to see Asset Summary View and Export. Let's look at the agenda of the video first. Today, I will show you what information can be seen in the Asset Summary. Then we will see how we can filter the Asset Summary. And finally, we will see how to export this Asset Summary. In the Lineage Impact view, you can see the Diagram view and the Asset Summary view. The Asset Summary view contains the tables that lists all the assets that affect and are affected by the seed asset. Also, the assets in the Asset Summary view are independent of the assets shown in the Lineage and Impact diagram. The Asset Summary view contains three tabs which are named as the Asset Lineage Summary, the Asset Impact Summary, and the Asset Control Summary. The columns on these three tabs display the information about the assets in the data flow. The following table describes the information of each column under those three tabs. Asset Name tells you the name of the asset. Asset Type gives you the type of the asset. Resource Name will give you the name of the resource and the source type gives you the type of the resource that contains this asset. Control type applies to asset control summary. Specifies whether the seed asset is controlled by other assets or seed asset is controlling other assets in the data flow. Users that are associated with the asset can be seen under the user column. And lastly, the business glossary term or Informatica Axon glossary term that are associated with the asset can be seen under the business terms column. Next, we will look at how we can apply filter in the asset summary view. You can filter the assets in the asset summary by asset type, resource name, control type or resource type. Use the filter panel to filter the assets. To filter the asset summary, Select the asset types, resource name, resource type, and control types that you want to view. To remove all filters of a particular type, we can select all. Also note that the filters that you apply in the asset summary view do not apply to the lineage and impact diagram. Next, we will look at how we can export the asset summary. You can export the asset summary to a Microsoft Excel file. You can export the Asset Lineage Summary, the Asset Impact Summary, and the Asset Control Summary. If you applied filters to the Asset Summary, the filtered assets do not appear in the export file. You can also choose to export all the three types of summary information. If you export all the summary information, the Microsoft Excel file displays separate worksheets for the Asset Lineage Summary, Impact Summary, and Control Summary. Now, let's have a look at a demo. Consider I'm viewing lineage on this object. This is the lineage and impact view. To open summary view, click on this tabular sum asset summary. You'll see three tabs, asset impact summary, lineage summary, and control summary. We can see all the assets which impact this asset in the lineage summary and the asset which in, are impacted by this asset can be seen in the impact summary. Also, we can see the controlling objects in the asset control summary. We can see we can filter this uh, the column of this tab from the filter bar depending on the three options. I can also export the summary and we can select which summary I want to export. This will export an Excel file which contains all the information. To summarize the video, we saw what information the asset summary view shows. We saw how to filter the asset summary view, and finally, we learned how to export the asset lineage impact summary. That will be all for this video. If you have any queries or any feedback, for this video, you can reach out to us on the following links. Thank you.